Akaza is my favorite Demon Slayer character, and Elden Ring is my favorite video game. Today, I combine those two with the Carry and Combo Warriors mod, so without further ado, please make sure to like, subscribe, and let's get right into it. The Chapel of Anticipation is awesome, because the only way to go anywhere is to die. Now in this playthrough, I'm starting off with no weapon, so I do one damage a shot. So I had to skip the tutorial and just go straight to an area in Kaled. By area, I really meant this merchant, because he sells the one weapon and the one piece of armor that I'm going to be using the entire playthrough. Now that I had the ability to do damage, I made Peta angry and then went after Margit. I absolutely adore the Carry and Combo Warriors mod, and there are actually versions of the mod you can get that make the bosses a lot harder, so the game can still feel like it's supposed to. I, I didn't use those mods though, I just used the regular one. But it's really cool, isn't it? I'm pretty much exactly like Akaza without the compass needle. Because I have the destructive death air type, and I'm really fast, and I'm punching, and it's so cool. There is a way to just use kicks with this uh, ability, but I just didn't do that because Akaza does more punches than kicks. After killing Margit, I slaughtered this guy, angered Peta again, and got a part of the Dectus Medallion. Now that we're on to Godric, let me tell you a bit about today's sponsor. I'm just kidding, I have like 400, why would I have a, why would I have a sponsor? Are you kidding me? Are you that stupid? Are you really that stupid? I am. Dude, every boss in this mod has the largest pool of health I have ever seen. It is really annoying, but I guess it makes it a lot more fair. Now that we were at the academy gate, I died to this stupid jump again, and then got my key. Whoa, wait for it, wait for it, Peta, Peta you here? Peta you here? This is a wolf, I'm slaughtering the wolf, I'm killing the wolf. Just kidding, this is a uh, magical creature, so it doesn't exist, can't touch me.
Rinala needs to get some sun. Have you seen her face? It's it's crazy. She is so white, and I can say that because I'm white. Oh wow, that was instantaneous. Oh dude. After putting Rinala in her place, I went to the Raya Lucaria Crystal Tunnel to get the Smithing Stone Bell Bearing 1. After getting the other half of the Dectus Medallion, I went to Castle Morn to fight Leonine Mispawatsit. Surprisingly, this is probably my favorite fight in the mod, just because both of us were so fast. Before I fought Radon, I wanted to fix Godric's great rune. Champions! I'm scared. Radon is scary. I can't fight him. Nope. Stronger than the final boss just watched. No, I can't. I can't even touch him. Look at this! In what world am I doing 15 damage a hit? I can't beat this guy! It would take like 25 minutes of just straight punching him without him even attacking me to, for me to even kill him. Like, that's ridiculous! This is ridiculous! Radon aside, I needed to go to the capital, so I allowed Margit to be my punching bag. You want a break from the ads? How about some turtles? Sorry, tortoises. Sorry, dogs. Oh boy, the Draconic Tree Sentinel. Don't you guys just love this fight? Because I know I do. I actually got him first try this time. It's kind of crazy, but I did. Hi Melina, I'm sorry, I can't talk to you today. I have Godfrey to deal with. Now that he's been dealt with, it's time for the most unforgetful fight in the mod. This was actually crazy, just watch. It gets better, don't worry, don't worry.
thy thoughts. Thou art a passing valor. What? But the dark of night is What's going on? Hello? What is this? This is, I didn't remember this part of the mod. I actually lost this fight the first time because I was so bamboozled, but I got him the second time. I don't even know why I tried Radon again. I, I don't know why I thought I would suddenly do more damage. Blah, 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 giant hairy man, blah, blah, blah. Smack him in the leg, blah, blah, blah. Yo, stop rolling, buddy. He didn't heed my advice. I mean, he rolled straight into the jaws of death. Melina, I'm sorry. I'll have that conversation. Melina, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't do this. Melina, don't do this. Now that we're in crumbling Faramazula, I was terrified for the gods can do a fight. I thought this would take ages, but it actually wasn't that bad at all. I'm not glazing, but I think Malekith is the second strongest boss in base Elden Ring. In this, he's probably third because Radon exists for some reason. Oh fuck, I forgot that was a thing. Okay. Whew. I don't know what's going on, but Gideon was the hardest boss in the entire game for me here. Th this was insane. Okay, come on. Did you do you think you thought I was serious, right? Did you think I was serious? I mean, come on. Really? No one cares about your bones, Gideon, and no one cares about your stupid monologue, Goffrey.
Okay, the first phase of this fight is literally just me doing this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and skip that for you guys. Funny you should say that, Godfrey, because it's time to take that crown for myself. Okay, I swear I've never seen that attack before. What is that? That has the widest range I've ever seen. I thought magic damage was strong against these guys, but not that strong. Elden Beast, maybe you could have used a little bit more health, but I mean, it's not, it's not me. It's not me. At least I'm alive, right? Alright guys, now that the Elden Beast is dead, this is the end of the video, so make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.